Pia Korki remains at the mercy of kidnappers who are threatening to kill him in two weeks' time if they don't get 33 million rand. Attempts by family and friends to raise the ransom money continue. But it's a controversial subject and an issue former hostage Monique Stridom understands. Now, I think all governments have a no ransom policy and one can understand why. Um, you know, once they start paying ransom, um, they're most probably going to kidnap more people. Monique and her husband, Kali, were held captive for four months in 2000. She was released before Kali and knows all too well what Yolandi Gorki is going through. We said right from the beginning we're not going to leave each other. It's either one or uh, either two or no one. And then um, the, the government official who, who was our contact person said to us, please, if you can go, just go, because one out is better than two in. You know, you walk out of there, you don't know if this is the last time that you're ever going to see each other, you don't know if he's going to get killed. And I just thought, what if he doesn't get out? You know, there's no joy. There was no joy for me being released. Monique and Kali were reunited a day later. But Yolandi's ordeal continues. Local aid group Gift of the Givers is currently in Yemen trying to revive negotiations. Talks broke down over the weekend when the kidnappers accused the charity's negotiator of withholding the ransom money. Malungi Elubui, Johannesburg. Know more about your world. ENCA.com.